women bowlers from all parts of South Africa meet at East London for their annual Beano, and members of 56 clubs make a mass attack on the jack. It's a novel departure to mark the opening of the tournament, and the bowler of the wood nearest the jack gets a silver cup, and probably the shock of her life. After the mass attack, the mass investigation. Oh, what chances one poor jack among so many jills? Not only do they bowl them, but they chase them, and sometimes it's heavy going. Oh, uh, bother. All the woods are made to measure, and that's the golden rule. As a bowler, the South African woman certainly puts her best foot forward, and backward, and sideways, and well, now you know how the hotcha hotcha was born. It's that sort of thing that makes the green a little bare. And although this little bear is only a few days old, he thinks that plenty of milk is more than half the bottle. He drinks with his feet as well. As you see, the keepers brought him up with his bare hands. One might almost say his baby bare hands. But is the baby bear grateful? <coughs> Sozzled with milk and very, very sleepy, he doesn't care if it snows. But then he's not one of those common polar bears. Forgive him though, folks, he's such a baby, he doesn't even know what his toes are for. He may not have much to crow about, but in the Far East, they make sure there's plenty. In fact, they have crowing contests, and the cock who can crow the loudest and longest is the cock of the walk. They're off! But goodness knows why they should crow, after all it's the hen that lays the egg. <laughs> 